All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, download and install MATLAB. Go to your favorite browser, uh, type in MATLAB, hit enter. The website you're looking for is MathWorks. If that's not the first one that shows up, you may need to scroll down to it. Uh, you may see MATLAB for students. If you're a student, great, click on that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on MATLAB right here, mathworks.com. All right, on this web page, uh, you can click Get MATLAB right here or Get MATLAB up here. All right, Get MATLAB. Now we either need to create an account or sign in. I think I need to create an account. And if you've never done this before, you probably need to do that too. So I'm gonna click create an account. If you have a MATLAB license through your work or university email, you should check with that. You know, Maybe you already know if you're a student or if your workplace is providing MATLAB, that's the email you're gonna to wanna to use. Uh, I'm just gonna enter a personal email to show you the process by which you would set up a new account and purchase MATLAB. So I'll say next. All right, I'm gonna continue anyway. It's warning me that I should use you know, my organization's email address, but I'm gonna continue anyway. All right, and I need to create an account. So I'll create a password here. All right, so they send a verification email. So I'm gonna go check that and then fill in the verification code right here. I'm gonna to click to accept the online service agreement. All right, and now we're just gonna enter some basic information. And we just keep going through clicking next. All right, at this point, we have a few different options. So we can link to an existing license with our organization. You can use MATLAB online for up to 20 hours per month. I have had some students have some issues with the online version, fairly minor stuff, just certain commands not displaying in the same format as other students were getting. But basically the online version does work. You would use it through your browser, so you wouldn't need an internet connection or you can do the 30 day trial of MATLAB, uh, the desktop version. So you download that to your desktop uh, and it's just a 30 day trial. Below that, there's some online trainings that you can do to learn some various things about MATLAB, but I'm gonna provide you with all the basics in this video series. By the way, all those links to the full playlist, uh, future videos, that'll all be in the description of this video. I'm gonna go ahead and just use the 30 day trial for now. So I'll click on that. All right, it's asking me to fill in my information again. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, should already have this information, but I'll fill it in again. How will you use your trial? Uh, I'm really gonna be using it for teaching, which is not an option given here. I guess I'll just make something up. Uh, MATLAB Essentials, okay. That's what I'll use it for, sure, submit. Okay, so at this point, I can install MATLAB right here. Click on that. Takes me to the download page. So there are two releases of MATLAB put out every year. So there's so for 2023, there's gonna be 2023A, and then later on there'll be 2023B. So this is the most up-to-date version as of the making of this video. So I'm gonna click Download for Windows. What are my options here? Right, so if you click on the down arrow right here, you can select Download for Mac or for Linux. I'm on a Windows machine, so I'm gonna click Download for Windows, and it's downloading what I want. Notice that the file extension is exe, it's downloading an executable installer that's going to install all of the MATLAB files for me. Once the download is complete, go ahead and open up your downloads folder, either by opening you know, a new folder window and going to downloads, or if you've got Windows 11, or I don't know, if you're using Microsoft Edge like I am, you can click on this folder icon right here, and great, here's your downloads folder. Double click on the executable, It's gonna ask me to allow MathWorks, this, this application, to make changes to my computer. I say yes. All right, it's gonna ask me to enter my email address again. It's gonna ask me to enter my password. There's a big old license agreement. So accept, click yes, and then next. It shows me what license I have right here. So currently I have just the trial license. If I pay for an activation key, I can enter that right here. But for now, I'm just gonna use the trial. Next, uh, confirm user, next. Where do you want MATLAB to be installed? Program files inside a folder named MATLAB, and then the version uh, after that, R2023A. That seems good to me, so I'll click Next. All right, now it's gonna ask what products, what additional add-ons and plugins I wanna add to MATLAB, and there is a long list of these. Now for my class, basically if you have MATLAB and Simulink, the second one right here, you're all good, and that's all that's gonna be covered in these videos. So I'm gonna just select those top two and then click next. Uh, you can choose to add a shortcut to the desktop or not, doesn't really matter, click next. All right, and then we're gonna begin installation. It's gonna tell you how large it's gonna be. It's pretty big, almost eight gigabytes. So I'm gonna speed through this on the video, but I'll put up on the screen how long it took for the installation on my computer. 
All right, the installation finished. For some reason, the window moved behind the folder window that I had open. That's a little bit odd, but if I just click back to it, there it is right there. Installation complete. Click close. And that's it, MATLAB should be installed. I should no longer need either of these files in my downloads folder, those can be deleted. But before I do that, let's just go to my search bar and type in MATLAB. And there it is right there, the application ready to be opened. I click on it and it should pop up here in a moment. Great, here is MATLAB. Everything looks fantastic. That's gonna be the end of this video. I'm gonna try and keep all my videos short. In the very next video, we're gonna go through how to set some of the preferences and rearrange where the different sub windows of MATLAB are located to fit our needs.